Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? I'm experimenting with my son's eye little eye buds here. I've never used them before, so I hope you can hear me okay. Could you let me know? Hi, everyone. Ah, so many people, fantastic. I'm just gonna give this a few minutes. So I'm, I'm Sonia Rodriguez and um, I'm a principal with the National Valley of Canada. Um, I hope everybody is feeling good um, dealing with the situation as good as we can. Um, um, it's not easy for anybody, certainly not easy for dancers, um, but uh, it's so wonderful that we're able to connect um, through social media and create this wonderful community of support and um, make sure that we all know that we're here for each other and uh, that we're going to be okay. Um, so I'm, I'm streaming from Toronto. I've been at home now for five weeks um, with my children. Um, and uh, as most dancers, I've been just trying to uh, stay in shape as best as I can at home. Um, I've set up a little um, workout area in my basement and um, I get to do classes there, bar, and try to jump a little bit. Um, I just came actually from a company class. The National is providing a company class every morning so we all get to see each other and try to stay connected. And um, I thought today I just um, will just give you um, a little uh, or a few of, of the stretches that I do after I do my class. Um, so these are not um, stretches that you probably have never seen before, most likely you have. Um, there might be a few little variations on how to approach them. Um, and um, just uh, to suggest that you are already somewhat warm or you have, you've done some sort of activity. Um, I decided to do this exactly for the reason that I just finished class. So it's the perfect time uh, to do some stretches now um, and kind of uh, finish uh, the workout that way. So if you've done a workout or something else, this is a, a good time to, to, to lay down and just um, release everything that you've been working on uh, that might be a little bit tight. So today I thought I'd just um, target uh, glutes, adductors, and hamstrings, uh, which is, you know, sort of like your hip, hip area. They're all muscles that will help you um, improve your bending forward, uh, for that matter, lifting your leg up as well. Um, and as I said, it's, they're just quite gentle, but if you haven't warmed up at all, I just recommend maybe you just like look at it or try it a little bit and certainly don't, don't push because you don't want to, um, you know, pull anything just because you're cold. Um, I'm debating whether I should keep the comments or not. I think I'm gonna maybe get rid of them and then at the end, maybe I'll turn them on again just so you can see, because I know some people have a hard time um, removing them. I know you can just slide them down, but anyways, so um, let's just um, just start on, on your back. Um, very gently. This is something that I'll do, but I just I, I like to do a sequence, so I know you know this already. But uh, let's just gently just stretch the glute. So this is gonna target your glute uh, maximus, which is your major uh, glute uh, group right here. Um, and um, all you need to do is just lay on your back, keep one leg uh, bent uh, a little bit. Um, Bring the other one forward. If you're comfortable, you can stretch the other one. And all I need you to do is just find that target point where it's a little bit tight. And, um, you know, it might be here. It might not be all the way here. For most dancers, you, this will be a very simple, simple stretch. But it's just nice to go through it anyways. 
Uh, so you're here, and all I need you to do is just um, use a target, um, find that target by uh, also just crossing that knee over to the other shoulder a little bit. You'll increase that stretch on that glute. Hold that when you feel that pull, and just take a couple of deep breaths. Bring the knee back to that neutral and increase the stretch just a little bit by pushing it towards you a little bit more. And repeat, bring that knee across to the other shoulder, increase the stretch in the glute. Once you feel that pull, just stay there. A couple deep breaths. Make sure both hips are down on the floor and that when you have moved that leg over to the other shoulder that the hip has not lifted from the floor. Bring back the knee to the neutral. Increase the stretch towards your body. And we'll do that one more time. Bring that knee across. If you're doing the right leg, left knee is going to go to your left shoulder. A couple deep breaths. And repeat that with the other leg. Bring the leg. Find a little stretch. Take the knee, your left knee now towards diagonally towards your right shoulder. Increase the stretch in the glute. Once you feel a stretch, hold. Two breaths. Bring it back to neutral. Increase the stretch by pulling towards you. Repeat across to the other shoulder. Two breaths. Back to neutral. One more increase, a little closer to your chest. Bring it across. Two breaths. Back to a neutral position. the opportunity of this time where we're stretching to just kind of let go of any sort of tension that you may have, any sort of negative energy. I find this is a nice time to reset for the rest of the day. Um, the next one we're going to do um, is going to target your glute uh, medius and your glutes minimus. So glute medius hits, uh, it's not ma it hits here, it's a smaller one, and the minimus comes right on the top here. Um, the minimus is a little bit harder to target, but um, we'll see, it, it'll depend on how flexible you are as well. But I find um, I can kind of hit it in this position. So if you go on your side, oops, I lost this. both knees bent, about 90 degrees, you use this hand here right now just to uh, anchor yourself. I have my arm. You can have it like this or you can have it down to support. Keep both hips on the floor and make sure you're not um, losing uh, this hip by going towards the floor. So make sure that you're nice and, and, and even with both hips facing each other towards the ceiling. Um, rotate the bottom leg doesn't have to be too rotated. In fact, we're going to increase that rotation as we go. And now you're going to take the bottom leg, you're going to lift it, and you're going to grab it with your hand. Does that make sense? So we're in this position here. We rotated the bottom leg. The other one has stayed behind, and we lift it, and we're going to hold it here. And we're going to do, and this is where you need to be careful that you haven't rotated this way, okay? You're still on your side. You feel that hip on the floor. 
we're going to close in this hip by dropping it towards the floor. So you're closing in your hips. The top leg is going to get closer to the bottom leg. You're going to bring it back and now you're going to increase the rotation of the bottom leg. Let me just switch here a little bit the angle. You might be able to see it better. So I've dropped my hip. I've lifted and I'm going to increase it like that. Okay, so let's do that together. We're in this first position. We're going to lower. And we're going to stay here, actually hold this two breaths. Bring it back parallel to the floor and increase by pushing that knee to this one and increase the rotation, the external rotation of the bottom leg. Do that again, drop the hip, hold, breathe twice. Bring that top one up and increase external rotation of the bottom leg. Rotate again towards the floor. Two breaths. Bring it up and push one more. Release. If you're very flexible, I find if you bring it just a little bit higher than 90 to start with, you'll get more of a stretch. If you're a little bit tighter, just start that position a little bit more elongated, not quite 90 or past. Let's do the other side. On your side, knees bent, again, 90 degrees with your body or more if you have the flexibility later. Bottom leg rotates, top leg comes up, and you grab it with your same arm. So if you have that bottom, if this leg is your left leg, then you have your left arm. And you drop your hip. I feel it more on this side. Couple breaths. Bring it up. Increase the external rotation. Drop. Bring it up. Increase. I'm going to feel like a pretzel a little bit. Drop. Increase. This one I really feel here myself. So I hope you could feel, feel that. It's a little bit hard to get into position-wise, but if you're a dancer, you probably had no trouble with that. The next one um, is to target your deep, deep six external rotators. So it's the muscles that you use to rotate your leg. So because we're always rotating, those muscles uh, get quite tight and um, they're also very deep, so they're kind of hard to target. So um, there's two, two that I usually do. This is the most common one. You just cross your legs. If you have a lot of flexibility, you could put a yoga um, um, support here, like those blocks, yoga blocks here. Uh, but I find this is plenty stretch. And you just want to lean forward. Make sure you're not rounding your back, but let your stretch comes from here, from your hip. And immediately you start feeling it. Uh, the problem with this, I find, is that you're also getting your glutes, and sometimes it's hard to target those external rotators. And just stay here and breathe. Two breaths each time before you increase the stretch by just lowering. Come up. 
move to the side with both hands. Away from the top leg. And the same thing. Two breaths. Lower. One more time. Two more breaths. Let's switch legs. Left leg on top. Come forward from the top of your hips. Back nice and lengthened as you come forward. Two breaths. Lower. As you lower, you can use your hands to extend, like you pull your hands towards you and you create that extra stretch with your body coming even further forward. Two breaths. A little lower. Two breaths. You will all have different ranges, so just work with your range. No pain. You want to feel the stretch, but no pain. We're going to do the same one by walking our hands to the side a little bit. That increases the stretch. And we're going to do the same here. I already feel it, so find that target where you already start feeling the stretch. And that's your starting point. And you hold there for two breaths. Lower by bending your arms and creating that little pool so your body lengthens as it goes down. Two more breaths. Lower one more time. Two breaths. The other exercise that um, targets those um, six deep rotator, external rotator, rotators um, that I do is this one here. So I'll lay on my back. I'm going to face you just so um, you understand what I'm going to say. So I'm going to lay on my back like this. Your knees are going to be hip apart, but I'm going to walk my left foot out by going out and in. So that's going to be actually your first starting position. Um, and then we're gonna take the right leg and we're gonna put it over. And without lifting your hips, we're gonna use the top leg to lower the left leg. And we wanna make sure that we're not lifting this hip as we do that. So you can use your foot to anchor that by feeling your entire foot on the floor pressing down and that'll keep that hip from rolling up. I'm going to come this way. So we started here, hips, feet, hips apart and we're going to walk that left foot once out, walk it out, right leg knee to knee over the left leg and use the top one to lower to the point where you feel that stretch here. And we're going to do the same. We're going to do two deep breaths. Now to increase that stretch, we're going to walk that foot in this position, that left foot again. So turn out, bring the heel 
So now you've moved to the side even more and you're going to increase the stretch by pushing that top leg down, keeping this hip down. If you feel like you need to feel that stretch even more, if you start with your um, angle closer to your body, you'll feel more of a stretch. But it's very important that you keep this hip here down so that when you use this leverage here, um, you're not doing this, otherwise you completely lose any of the stretch. So we're walking our foot, this would be the third time. Walk it one more time, increase the stretch by pushing the top knee, pushing the lower leg down. Again, breathing twice. And come back. Walk back. We'll do the other leg. I'll change the angle. Start feet uh, in line with your hips. Walk your right foot out by turning out. Bring the heel in line with it. Left leg lifts, goes over the right leg, knee to knee, and you're gonna turn the bottom leg in using the pressure of the top leg. So the top leg is gonna create that. You're gonna keep this hip down. You're gonna feel the stretch. You're gonna stay there, two breaths. your foot out, turn out, turn in, apply the stretch again, lower that knee down to the floor, two breaths. Position, walk your foot out again, turn out, turn in, lower that knee to the ground, two breaths. So I hope you feel that um, because of the structure of my hips, I actually have a hard time doing that one, to be honest. It kind of pinches a little bit on my hip, but I do feel the stretch. The next one, um, it's for general glute system. Um, so it'll target um, minimum maximums and uh, medium. Um, so all three, most likely you're feeling mostly on the medius. And um, I'm sure you've all done this before, but um, there's a little variation on it. So we're gonna have this leg, um, both legs bent. We're gonna take the right, the right leg, this one's gonna stay uh, bent. We're gonna take the right leg up uh, like this, and we're gonna turn it externally. Just hold it. We're gonna do our two breaths here. We're gonna release it to neutral, whatever that is for you. Let me go this way so you maybe see it like this. So I've come back to neutral, I've rotated, I've gone back to neutral, and now I'm gonna take this leg diagonal to my left shoulder so right knee to left shoulder is gonna you're gonna apply um, the um, pressure to bring it towards your left shoulder on a 45 degree angle and that's going to increase the stretch 
Now we're going to create some leverage to open up that hip. We're going to turn it out externally again. And when you turn it out ex externally, don't press the knee this way. What you want to do is actually take the foot towards you. Okay? So you're rotating this externally by bringing the foot towards you and not the knee away from you. Okay, so you increase that external rotation on the hip. You hold it. You breathe in twice. You release and you take your knee and you bring it closer to that left shoulder. And we do that again, we take the foot and we rotate that hip externally again. We breathe twice. We release to that neutral and we press that knee again a little bit further. So what you, your target is, is to bring this knee all the way to the left, the opposite shoulder. So it lowers towards your body and the opposite shoulder. So that's what your target is during this stretch. Let's do the other one. We start again like this. Left leg up. Hold your leg, find where you feel that stretch a little bit. And that's your starting position. You take your left heel and you bring it towards you to create that external rotation. Again, do not push. You just have this hand here to support. Breathe in twice. Release that foot. Take that knee and drive it towards your right shoulder, diagonally on a 45 degree angle. Increasing the stretch, keep that hip down. Take your right heel again, bring that foot towards your body, increasing that external rotation on the hip. Breathe twice. Nice deep breaths. Release the foot to that neutral position. Bring the knee again closer to the body on a diagonal towards your right shoulder. Take your right hand right uh, to the foot, the heel, and again press it towards your body, increasing even more that external rotation on the hip. I tend to always increase, do the set um, three times, and each time you increase it. Um, always remember to do those deep breaths in between, because that helps you uh, feel what the stretch is um, and allow you allow you to let go of the tension on that particular spot. Uh, the next one we're going to do um, actually is going to target. Um, Adductor longus. Um, kind of feel like I should show you because I think it's important to understand the muscles and the anatomy of the body. Okay, so I don't know. Can you see here? Yes. So uh, these are your adductors here, uh, and your adductor longus is this one here. Okay this one here so it comes 
here in the front, okay? Um, I'm showing you because I feel like a lot of the times when we go into stretching, um, we go with the intention of stretching a certain muscle group, but if we have uh, tightness somewhere else, we start feeling uh, the stretch on that muscle and then um, we, we get complacent with the fact that we're just stretching something and we're probably not targeting the muscles that we want. So I think it's important to visualize what it is that we're trying to stretch when we, um, when we apply the uh, exercise to it. So uh, for this one, um, it's gonna, as I said, it, it's gonna target um, the adductor longus and sorry, actually, to be honest, it's gonna target even more the adductor magnus, which is much bigger and it comes even lower. So um, this one is longus here and magnus is the one that is even the bigger one that comes down here, okay? Um, and that's actually probably the one that's gonna get the most stretch and the longest um, will get some stretch as well, but the one that you'll feel most will be this one. So if we get into this position here, which is the what they call the mermaid position, I think, where both legs are bent, like this. We have a 90 degree here and a 90 degree here. Um, we are going to find that stretch, our target, by just lowering a little bit. Uh, depending on your flexibility, you might have to um, move a little bit and not be completely straight, but maybe be on a little bit of an angle here. It feels like you're in an angle and you're actually not too much, but I feel the stretch here already. And you're going to hold here. What you're going to do is you can put a little bit of pressure on this hand and this foot, and you're going to move towards that foot. That's going to increase the stretch. You're going to hold here and do your breaths right here. Two deep breaths. You're going to come back to that first position that you had, that neutral position when you felt that first stretch, the target stretch. And you're going to lower your body just a little bit, just a few inches. So you've increased now the stretch. Again, you're gonna take that hand, that foot, and you're gonna move your body towards that foot. You wanna have your back nice and stretched, don't do this. So we've lowered a little bit. We're gonna move from the hip, lengthening this, the, the spine towards that foot. You're gonna hold here, two breaths. Come back to the neutral position. Increase the stretch. If you feel like this is as far as you can go, then this will be your last time doing it. If you still feel like you have more range, you've increased and you're feeling the stretch, but it's not painful, we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna go over to that foot. Use that hand to push against the foot. It helps to bring your whole body across. You should really be feeling it on that adductor. Two breaths here. Come back and lower. I can go one more. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna push over. Come back and then I'll just release and come back. This one I find really targets that adductor really well. You can really, really feel it. Let's do the other side. So again, now I have my left leg in front, in that mermaid position. My right leg is behind me. 
bend 90 degrees. Like that. Show you every angle. Like this. Back nice and long. Lean forward. Find when you start feeling that stretch. I actually need to move a little bit to my right to start feeling it. There it is. My hand goes on my foot. I use that as a leverage to push and I move my whole body towards that foot to my right. That increases the stretch there and I hold two breaths. Lower, lengthening the back. Again, move over towards your foot. That will be towards your right if you're doing the same leg as me. Two breaths. Come back to your neutral. Lower even more. One more time. Your right, two breaths, nice long back, back to the neutral, release, and up. That's one of my favorites, uh, just because it's I feel like I can really target those adductors really well and I'm not um, compromising by stretching any other ones. The next one is again targeting the same two adductors but if before we were feeling the madness the most uh, which is the, the bigger one um, and this time uh, is the longest that gets more of a stretch even though they're both being targeted. Um, this one, you're going to need some padding on your knee. So if you have a mat like me, I just do this. You can do this like two, three times, and that's going to give you that extra padding. If not, you can put a pillow or whatever soft. You're going to um, put your body on a lunge position. Okay, I have my right leg forward. I'm gonna take, um, so if I'm right, right now in the middle like this, I'm gonna move my body to the left of my leg. Okay, so now I have two, two arms on this side. You wanna make sure that both hips are facing down, that you're not doing this. Um, we are going to lift the heel, the right heel up, Change the angle. I'm gonna lift that heel up. We're gonna hold here for two breaths. We're gonna lower and we're gonna increase the stretch. Now, if you're feeling it a lot on your hip flexors. I need you, I need you to um, create more abduction with your hip, so you need to almost like lift from the top, I don't want to say tuck under, but um, you don't want to have it on an extension like this, you want to have it the opposite way, this way, that will release the stretch of the hip flexor because that's not what we're trying to target here. We're targeting here, okay, the abductors. If by doing this you're feeling it on the glutes more, just walk to the side a little bit more. That should relieve that and focus on the abductors that we're trying to work. Okay, so let's try this again. So we've come here, we lift, we hold. Two breaths. We lower the heel, and now we're gonna come lower. 
So you're increasing the stretch here. This is a little bit more rounded. In this position, without lifting the hips, we've lowered more. We're going to lift that heel again. This gets a little bit tricky because now we're lower. You're going to lift that heel as much as you can. You're going to hold it here. You're going to lower. And we're going to lower even more. Switch it just so that you can see. So now you're even you're even lower. So you're really increasing the stretch here. And then we're going to lift one more time. Lower. And that's your last one. Increase. So your back, your back hip is um, it's not stretching this way so that you're not targeting these hip flexors, okay? Um, you're almost curling it. So it's almost a little bit curled under. Not like this, like that. I don't know if it's hard to see. Yeah. Let's try the other one. Switch around. I'm trying to show you. Okay. Yeah, so we're not doing this, right? So this hip is almost rotating this way, not stretching this way. So we start here. We move over to the right, two hands to the right. Find that target, find the stretch, and lift the heel. Hold. Lower the heel, lower your body, increase that stretch. If you need to go a little bit more to the side to feel the stretch more on the adductor, then do that. Lift the heel again. Lower, increase the stretch. Remember to flex that back hip more if you feel it in your flexors, okay? We don't want to feel the stretch here. We're feeling the stretch on this leg here. Without lifting your hips, you lift the heel. This is a really deep stretch at this point. Down and lower. Walk back. I hope you can feel that. Um, it's hard to just play with the position. It's hard not to get into that position and not feel everything on that hip flexor. Uh, but it's really important that, you know, that's not what we're trying to target. Um, yeah, so just, just play, uh, make sure that you release that back hip with, by flexing it so that all your focus is on that adductor. Um, the other one... It's for the lower part of the adductor magnus, and it takes a little bit of stretch on the adductor longus. Now, I love this one because I really, I find it's really easy to feel as well. Um, so you're sitting on both your knees like this. I'm gonna take my right leg out to the side. You should have it at least on a 90 degree, okay? Um, if you, Want to increase it a little bit? You can go a little bit past 90. Okay, with the right leg, the one that is extended. We're going to walk to the middle. We're going to take our right hand with our right leg here. We're going to lean forward. And you're going to find your target. So I can already feel it here. It's, I'm already feeling the stretch. I'm going to... Use this hand to internally rotate that leg. I'm going to hold in this position to deep breaths. Bring it back 
to that neutral position and lower yourself. Just like the other ones, we want to lower by still lengthening the back, not curving it. We're here, we're going to do the same. We're going to turn in, hold two breaths. Release, lower even more. So what you're doing is, see you have this gap here because you're sitting on your knee. So now you have that to work with to create that extra stretch there. Turn in. Come back and go even deeper. I'm going to do one more, but you might have reached your full stretch. And if, you're, if you've done so, then don't push it, please. Just wait for me. I'm almost there. And last one. Come back. Switch. Same with the other leg. Two knees together. You're sitting on your heels. Going to take your left leg out. You're creating a 90 degree minimum here. If you can go a little bit further back, that's good. We are going to turn our body to the middle. We're going to lower. Lower by lengthening from your hip. And you're going to start feeling that stretch on that adductor. Once you find that stretch, the target point, left hand, left leg, rotate internally that leg. You can use your arm to help it. So you use your own leg and your hand to help you rotate it internally. You hold it for two breaths. You release to the neutral and you lower your body. You do that again. Rotate internally. Release to neutral. And lower one more time. This is my full stretch here. You turn in. Use your leg and your hand to help you do that. Release to neutral and go all the way to your full stretch. It really stretches it for me. And up. So we're targeting all the adductors, which I find we don't usually stretch. Um, we tend to focus really on the, you know, quads, you know, everybody grabs their legs back here and uh, they kind of get neglected and they're very important to keep loose um, as well as the rotators because they do a lot of work and um, they help a lot to create mobility when you're trying to do your arbis as well. So all this is loose, it's not pulling you down, um, even to bend forward as well. Um, so let's do now uh, some hamstring. Uh, this one will target the lateral hamstrings. So there are, as the name implies, on the side of your leg, um, they run here. And um, it's just your regular uh, hamstring, like you would normally do your hamstring. You know, you wouldn't grab your legs and just pull it towards your body. But we're just gonna play with that a little bit to increase the stretch. Uh, lay on your back. Uh, one knee um, is gonna stay bent. The other one is the one we're gonna work on. I'm gonna grab my left one just because it's closer to the camera. Um, if you don't have the flexibility to maintain your leg stretch on your own and we're gonna have to like pull it towards us, you can use a strap, a bare band, uh, anything that you have. This one is kind of messed up a bit because I was using it for something else in school knots. But um, what you want to do is you want to wrap it around your foot. 
um, if it was long enough. And uh, you can use it like this, so it has target, you know, goes around your foot and then you bring it, and now you're going to use it as leverage. Don't need this, so I'm going to just hold it like this. I'm going to find that point where I feel the stretch. For me, it starts here. I already feel it. And what I want you to do is take this leg and bring it across to the other shoulder. So you pull it straight towards you first. It's straight, let me see this angle here, here. Then you're gonna pull it across. And this is where we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold for two breaths. going to bring it back to that straight position and you're going to increase it bring it closer to your body to your body increase the stretch by lowering it closer once you've increased it you're going to do the same you're going to bring it over to that right shoulder that increases that stretch again please don't pull too much uh, that you feel pain um, you should be feeling that increase almost immediately, as soon as you bring it across. Deep breaths, try to focus on where you feel the tension and the stretch, and help it release, bring it closer to your body. Let's switch around again. Bring it over. I only need to use the one hand, but you know, if you need two hands, or if you have the strap, then you're using the strap to help you. Um, you just want to keep both hips on the floor as you do this, so don't lift. I'm going to keep increasing a little bit more. As you can see, I started feeling that stretch quite early. Um, your foot is flex, as you can see as well. Sorry, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but bring it closer, pull it to your shoulder. It's going to be the max for me. Bring it over. I'll just push it one more time there. Um, as you can see, I I started feeling the stretch quite early on, and that's when you want to start doing the leverage exercise to increase that mobility. So I could have, from the beginning, started a little bit lower, but I was feeling that stretch uh, a lot sooner, and that's where you want to start to do that and start increasing the stretch so don't just push it to the max and then start from there so start bringing it towards you i switch legs right leg up now for me foot flex right there so this one has a little more flexibility yeah right here i already start feeling it so this is my starting point yours may be different it may be here you may be very flexible and it might be even lower so from here you're going to move it over to your left shoulder, like across to the left side, because I have my right leg, so it goes to the opposite side. You bring it back to the center, and you increase the stretch. I'm going to do that one more time. Deep breaths. Keep the hip on the floor. It's hard to do when you bring it across, but try to do that. Bring it to the center and lower closer to your body. This is getting very tight for me now. Keep that hip on the floor. Bring it across to the other shoulder. And again, you only bring it across as much as you start feeling that increase on the uh, stretch without pain. Can be a little uncomfortable, but no pain, okay? 
think I'm almost doing a little bit too much because now it's starting to shake a little bit. <laughs> Middle, and I'm going to do the last pull towards my body, but I think that's enough for today there. <sighs> so as you can see, when you bring, you feel like you get a lot of tension here, but when you bring it across, it really, really increases that lateral um, stretch on those hamstrings, and it's really, really good. Um, the other thing um, that we're just going to do is um, kind of hamstring calculated, but it's mostly fascial stretch. So there's nothing really attaching your calf muscles to your, to your hamstrings. It's all like fascial. Um, and it's important to release all that fascia that's behind your leg. So again, if you don't have the flexibility, you can use um, something like this, like a theraband or something, to put it on your foot like this, okay, like that. And you're gonna use it to increase the flexion of your foot and um, bring uh, the, the leg on a full stretch. Uh, so we're gonna be using this motion. So you can use this if you're not able to do it with your hand, okay? Um, just like in the other ones, we're going to start uh, finding that target. So first we want to have the right leg out, which is the one that we're going to be stretching. The other one is going to be just bent. Um, you're going to grab it without overstretching. You see, I also have a little bit of hyperextension. So when I really engage uh, my muscle and I stretch my leg fully by pulling the, the foot back, which is what we're going to do. It's almost like this motion when you actually do it with your leg, but we're going to do it just by pushing the foot back. Um, you wanna, What you want to do is just come forward without doing that yet. We just want to lower and find the stretch. So for me, actually, it's quite low, but you may already have it somewhere sooner, somewhere around here. Once you find that target, you're going to take that foot and you're going to Pull it back. You're going to hold there for two breaths. I can really feel it behind my knee, um, just at the top of the calves there. We release it. We lower, just to, like on the other ones. When we lower, we're not lowering, circling, but we lowering by lengthening our back from the hip. Now we're gonna pull, we're gonna, we've increased, and we're gonna pull that foot back. We're gonna hold it, two breaths. Release, lower, increase the stretch, can use two hands at this point probably if you're that low. Pull back. Two breaths. Really lengthen. You should be feeling it all underneath your leg. You should really be feeling that fascia stretch. And release. Switch legs. Left leg in front, the other one bent. Come forward. If you're not overstretching that heel yet, I, the foot back yet, we're just finding that target, that stretch on the hamstring. I feel it here. And I pull back. Two breaths. Release. Lower. Really go into that stretch with your breaths. Release. One more down. I'm going to use two hands now because I'm too low. 